If you are like me, then you probably don't like to throw away your old or broken electronic devices. I always love to take them apart and try to make use of it. So in this video, I'll show you how I made use of my old laptop which is not in use due to its distinct parts and converted into something useful. I am using Dell Latitude E4200, a plywood stick and an aluminium frame. Measure the dimensions, that is the height and width. My laptop is 8 inches in height and 11.5 inches in width. I have left 4 inches at the top to drill holes. Cut two pieces of plywood with the same height. I want my laptop display anchored to the wall. Drill the holes to attach the aluminium frame to the plywood. Cut the plywood of same width and assemble. Double check whether the frame has good grip and it's not too tight, it can damage the display. To make the laptop not to slide out of the frame, I have used neck strap. Cut the strap into two. Drill a screw at the bottom to attach the strap. Use soldering iron to punch hole for screws. Ok, now I have to add additional screws to hang the strap on and off. Laptop holder is now ready. Time to get the hardware ready. This laptop has its power connector at the back side, so I have to take the power jack out. Use epoxy adhesive to fix the jack at its place. This laptop have a distinct SSD connector, mu SATA. I made a connector to connect mu SATA to SATA, and the space was insufficient to insert a hard disk. So I have used the SATA cable. Cover the lid. It has a bump but it's ok. Now we have to power up the hard disk. You can salvage SATA power connector from an old desktop SMPS. Laptop hard disk runs on 5V. This laptop had an SSD which used only 33 volts. I got a new USB cable. Traditional USB port delivers 5V. That'll work. I drilled the whole frame under my desk because I'm not going to use this hardware often. The left plywood is used to hold the hard disk. I made a cut to make the hard disk slide in and out and hot glue the plywood. Zip tied the USB to start a power cable.
Okay. Now let's power it on. Hmm. No OS. Let's install one. And yes, it's working and seems promising. To access the device remotely, I have used an Ethernet cable 